Hello YouTube, this is part two of the MERS antenna build um, that we're going to use on the repeater or base or however you want to call it. Uh, there's a couple things I want to kind of show you here. We do have the ground planes uh, brazed up. Yeah, I know. I tried to, I, I know I said in a video that I was going to try to use the same tools that you guys would have available. I didn't run, to, I don't want to run to the hardware store to get bolts, small bolts and nuts. So I brazed it. That's, it is what it is. So this is the ground plane. And I used the antenna calculator to calculate the length that I needed. Um, and then of course we'll use a connector. This will go in like this, like so. And then on the other side, we will take this connector, we'll cut the brass tubing to the length we need. We'll solder this like this. And on the other end of the brass tubing, we will solder on a, they call this a shaft collar. I took out the element screw. I found what bolt um, is the right thread. I put a, a nut and a wing nut on there so I don't need tools. And that will go on this end. And the reason why we're doing that is so that I can slide in a eighth inch steel rod and this can slide in here. Let's go down on this end. Uh, and then I can do this to adjust the SWRs is the plan. Let me get this in here here. like so and then I can just tighten it down wherever we need to go we'll tighten it down and then I can you know adjust it without cutting it so that's the plan like I said this will solder on the other end of the brass tubing so that is how we're going to do that as for the radio we're going to be using handhelds obviously I cannot use the uh, repeater for a couple reasons. One, my repeater is only tuned for GMRS uh, frequencies. And secondly, um, it's too high power. Even on low, I believe it did six watts, I believe. I think it was six watts. Well, that was going into the, the duplexer. But it, I think even on low, I, I don't know if what, uh, I think it might be a little too much. But nevertheless, we can't use the repeater because of it's the wrong frequency. So we're going to take two, we're going to use two handhelds. One, we're going to turn into a temporary repeater. I did a video on that, on that software for the laptop, how you can make a handheld into a, a repeater. We're going to put the antenna on the same pole, on the same uh, uh, repeater trailer, I call it. Um, that's what we're going to do there. I did check the handheld as you can see here on medium power I get about 2.6 watts output out of that handheld yeah I know it's it's a little more than two but you gotta remember my meter plus or minus five percent so I tried low power and it was too low it's like a little over a watt so I'm trying to keep it as close as I can to two watts so I picked medium power and I don't know if you'll be able to see that the frequency I picked was the one uh, the first one in the list which is right there 151.820 you can see I have it in medium there's an M in, in the display there and then this is what it does I don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not maybe you can maybe you can't but it does about 2.57 watts to 2.6 watts, somewhere around there. So it's a little bit more than 2 watt. But I don't think the world's going to end uh, with that little bit extra. Um, but we'll, we'll make sure both handhelds are on medium power. So we will make sure of that when we do this. So now I just got to get this antenna built get it tuned and I will use the nano VNA to tune the antenna once that gets all tuned up 
I will put on that poll and then we will go ahead and do a distance test. So hopefully the next video will be a distance test with the MERS uh, frequency, at least one of them. Technically, it should go further because it's lower frequency, but we shall see. I know people made comments that it, it was not better, uh, but we're going to test it and see what happens. And uh, so that's what our plan is. So if you have any questions, comments, uh, please post them down below and please subscribe. Thank you.